This is an accessory navicular bone. It's not a normal bone, but it does occur in some people. Most people don't know they have it unless it's rubbing on the inside of your shoe, causing you severe inside of the foot and inside of the ankle pain. So we're gonna tell you why your os navicular problem happened, how to take care of it, and how to fix it now. So let's get going. What is the navicular bone right here? It's between a bone called your talus and your cuneiform bone. So this right here is your navicular in the middle. This bone uh, can have a few things happen to it. It can have stress fractures. And if you think you have a dull aching stress fracture, follow this link. But if the inside of your arch right here is hurting, if it's rubbing against the inside of your foot, if you're having inner ankle pain, it might be os navicular syndrome. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit. You can see this right here. So now slow motion of the navicular. That's the navicular right there. And in some people, you have an accessory navicular, so that's a growth spot that did not fuse. And inserting into that is the posterior tibial tendon. It doesn't hurt in everybody, but if agitated with that posterior tibial tendon, it could rip out that green spot. Is my navicular bone right here. So this right here is the navicular. I drew this green line right here because this is my posterior tibial tendon. So you can see this is the tibia, the medial malleolus. This is the tibialis posterior, and the tendon comes down and inserts right here. So where you would feel pain is like this. If I pressed right here, you can feel a big lump. And your foot, you can see right here, I have an arch. People are more likely to be flat-footed. So this is an arch that's flat-footed. So with an os navicularis, you're pretty sore right there and you collapse onto that area. So on my finger, I'm collapsing right there. It's an extra bone with extra cartilage present in a small percentage of people. Most people don't know it's a problem unless they have a trauma, unless it's on the inside of your shoe, rubbing on the inside of your shoe. And number three, unless a tendon called your posterior tibial tendon is rubbing on the inside. And if you wanna know more about your posterior tibial tendon, follow this guide right here. So the treatment is if you really agitate it and it's like 10 out of 10 pain, you have to see your podiatrist because with a physical exam, uh, you may need an x-ray. There might be a broken bone. So your navicular can be broken or you could have a stress fracture. Number two, you might need an ultrasound to see if you tore your posterior tibial tendon or an MRI. An MRI is probably the best thing to get, but it can be expensive, especially with copays. This would be a nice stable arch with pain right there. You could see right there. And this is now the collapse. So the collapse would be right here with that prominent and painful. You would also have pain along the inside of the ankle. So you can see, not only will you have pain here, but most people have pain along the back. And if you need more, check out our guide to posterior tibial tendinitis and flat foot. See how I drew this extra bone. It's normally supposed to be one solid bone without a divider here. But now there is a divider because this bone has not fused. So this junction right here is what's hurting. And this tendon is ripping this part of the bone away like that. Most people don't need surgery. Let me repeat, most people don't need any type of surgery or invasive procedures. What you wanna start with is probably immobilizing the foot. So like a walking boot or a cast, a walking boot usually will do the trick. Then number two, you wanna find out why this is happening. So are your shoes too tight? Are they unsupportive? This is where it makes sense to get a good shoe and a good orthotic. So number one, a great shoe. So I like to start with a pretty good shoe. So you can see if the shoe is supportive, it has a lot of support, you're not really rolling in. So it stops you from rolling in. And when you roll in, your navicular is gonna be somewhere around here. So 
it'll stop you from rolling in and you won't rub on the inside of the shoe quite as much. Another thing that can really help, so you could see, as your foot flattens, it rolls in and you could see your navicular is right here. If I have my orthotic right here, so you could see the orthotic stops you from rolling in quite as much. So let me show you something. As I stand here like this, my foot can collapse pretty easily. And this hurts, whereas with an over-the-counter insert, it holds you stable, so I can't really flatten out. See, it stops it from flattening out, and now this tendon does not have to work as hard. So right there, it does not have to work as hard. Whereas if I compare that to a custom insert right there, you can see there's a lot more support and it can't roll in. So right there, this tendon does not have to work as hard and that right there does not hurt as much. So you can see, even with this old orthotic, gradually that pain right there will get better. And as a result, the navicular won't be pressing. So here's our guide to our favorite orthotics. But I find most of the time, if you let it cool down with immobilization, and then number two, if you get a good orthotic and a good shoe, most people's pain goes away. If it's still not, something like a compression ankle brace can help even more. So that will stabilize your ankle even more. A compression brace can fit in any shoe. It's a little bit more comfortable. If that still didn't do it, and this can be potentially an alternative to wearing a boot right off the bat, is a stability brace. A stability brace should do it. And then lastly, see your podiatrist. You have to get a biomechanical evaluation. Is your knee tight? Is your hamstring tight? Is your, is your hip unstable or uneven? Or your lower back? You can work with your podiatrist to diagnosis and with a physical therapist to work this out. But good shoes, good orthotics, good bracing, as you work your way up that algorithm, you're gonna feel a whole lot better. And then, as it helps with anything, get in great shape, lose some weight, you're pretty much guaranteed to eventually get at least somewhat better.